This is Christian Letts from Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros, and you're watching bestfan.com. On this episode of Best Fan TV, we speak with Christian Letts from Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. We talk about Big Easy Express, his love for hats, and his favorite rap songs. Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. That is a mouthful. Every time I say it, I always stutter. So why was it named that in the first place? Alex had been working on a story for a long time, a novel. And the main character's name was Edward Sharp, and he was sent to the world to, to save it. Never quite gets around to it because he keeps falling in love. And the Magnetic Zeros was part of this like sort of string theory mathematics thing he was coming up with. <laughs> That's where it came from. Yeah, that was it. Now, how did you get in touch with everybody and, and Alex, and <clears throat> how did that relationship spawn? Alex and I know each other since we were three. I moved from London when I was a kid and met him at preschool. All of us are sort of, it's a collection of old friends that came together. The Big Easy Express, the documentary, the amount of people that have shared the trailer for this video on my Facebook yeah. was insane. And every single person that put it up was like, this is so cool, this makes me happy. What was the experience like going through this? I, I can't really believe we got to do it. It was like a dream. We didn't, you know, because the idea came up and we're like, yeah, that'd be awesome if we get to do that. You know? And then it was realized and we all got to hop on these, you know, vintage trains. And you went from San Francisco to New Orleans? Oakland to New Orleans, yeah. Six stops, eight days on the train. You're with Mumford and & Sons. And Old Crow Medicine Show. Yeah, it was amazing. Now I'm going to ask you some random questions because best fans out there, they always want to know the random stuff, especially on the interweb. All right. Okay? So if two bands were to have sex, and, um, and Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros were the offspring. Which two bands would that be? <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't know. That's a good question. I really don't even know, because I even have a hard time. When people ask me what kind of music we do, I don't even know how to describe it. There's 12 of us, you know, 12 very different uh, people with different musical influences. So it's kind of like psychedelic folk, is I guess what somebody described it as. If you were stuck in an elevator, if you could be stuck in an elevator with one person, who would that be? A of all time? Yeah. Probably my girlfriend. Honestly. Good answer, good answer. I'm gonna give you that one. <laughs> Alex Ebert looks like somebody. Who does Alex Ebert look like? Who's his lookalike? <laughs> I don't know, I guess. I'd say Daniel Taylor <laughs> if I had to choose somebody. He's kind of got that like long-legged thing like him, you know? Yeah, yeah. And last question, I ask this uh, to everybody I interview, is what are you a best fan of? Hats. My friend Gunnar Fox makes these hats. I'm No, this is not one of his. This is one I found on the road. But he makes these amazing hats. He made all the hats for gangs in New York when he was like 15. And he's the baddest dude in the land. And I think it's such a cool sort of lost art. Obviously, because you're such good friends with Alex, he used to be a really big fan of NWA and, and Run DMC. We, yeah, that's what we grew up on. Yeah. Slick Rick, Big Daddy Kane. Um, fuck, who else? Public Enemy, Beasties. That, like, that's all, all we listen to, you know, nonstop. If I said, like, bouncing down the street in my... <clears throat> Six foe. Holla. <laughs> well, thank you so much thank for joining us. Much. If you want to check you out, where can they go? Edward Sharp from the Magnetic Zeros .com, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And for more exclusive interviews with your favorite artists, check out www.bestfan.com. I'm Rachel David. Thanks a lot.